G'day guys, hope everyone's well. Today I'm just gonna do a job that I've been dreading which is cutting out the fog light holes in the brand new front bumper. So I'm really nervous about that cause one wrong chop and I'll stuff it up. Um, so I'm gonna start small holes, test it, bit bigger, test it and just keep going. I wanna leave plenty of meat around where the, where the holes are so I can glue the fascias down um, or the fog light covers, so here we go. See how I go, wish me luck. It's a brand new bumper. I'm a bit scared of chopping it up, but gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna use this little bad boy, the little Azito, uh, with a little cut off wheel on the end. Um, should do the trick. I don't have heaps of tools and I don't have a little air saw or anything like that, so this is gonna have to do, so slowly, slowly. Hey guys, so take two of installing the fog lights on the bumper. I tried to make some cute little circles here and make it look all nice and pretty, but in actual fact, you just need to hack a really big hole out of each side. So this one I haven't done yet. I ab absolutely crapped myself because I started to hack off uh, these tabs here because they were getting in the road of the hole I was making. And just out of pure instinct, I decided to just leave this one here just in case I needed to use it. And it turns out that once you use all of the brackets and mount them up, those are the three holes that you actually need to keep for the screws to go into. So that was really, really lucky. So I thought it was some big secret because there was no instructions on what type of shape you had to cut around and what the pattern was like for here. But it just turns out you need to just take out this whole section here, except for these uh, little screw holes and just a little bit past there. So about, about a finger space past this one. So that's what I'm gonna do now. It took me forever to cut that hole, uh, but it turns out all I need to do is just a big rectangle. So I feel stupid, but I'm glad it worked out in the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one and then I'll show you what it looks like all installed. see now we've got these gaping great holes in the front of the brand new bumper bar but they get covered over by these pieces so once that goes in there it actually pulls in really nice and tight once you put a bit of sikaflex over that um, that's going to fill up any gaps and it's going to sit nice and flush and tight so you have your two fog lights this is how the brackets attach so the long one on the inside, the short one on the outside, and then they actually screw with the three screws here to those three holes that line up on the back of the bumper bar. So I got really lucky there. So I'm going to go ahead and install these lights 
so you can see what they're going to look like because you've got to test fit them before you sand and paint and all that sort of stuff because otherwise you're going to scratch your new bumper bar. Once that goes on there, there's this little screw just here and then that ties it in all nice and tight on there like so. So uh, bear with me a second and I'll get that done. So there you can see that one is in, nice and snug, everything's all nice and tight. I've got the big hole on the other side, around the back. This is how the brackets go. Oh, a bit windy. So I've got bolt here, bolt there, one more over the front, and one more down the back and then you've got your plug so um, yeah it looks really good from the front and looks really unfinished and messy in the back because of the chop outs here but that all fits up nice and snug there and there's a home for everything so that's great I'm gonna put the other side in now just so you can see what it looks like and I'll hang it off the car I'm quite happy with that, $100 for a full set of fog lights that actually fit, they actually do bolt on, it actually is a kit, so let's see how we go with the rest of it. So as you can see, we have fog lights, now I'll come and do a, a proper install video on this later on once it's all painted and looks a bit nicer, there was a bit of wiring to do under the dash, which I'll show you how that all goes later on. But success, they work, they look good, everything fits, so I'm very happy with that. So that's a wrap guys. <laughs>